Hi guys, welcome back to Kids for Code. So today we're going to do day two of our Java beginners class. So it's about Hello World and printing. And Hello World is a program that you guys are gonna be writing yourselves today. So in order to write this program, we're gonna need Eclipse, which you guys should have downloaded in the last video. If you don't have that done yet, it's okay. Go watch that video first and then come back here where you can write Hello World. So, we're gonna go to our desktop to go to our Eclipse. And we should have Eclipse saved to our desktop here and where you can double click it. If you don't see Eclipse on your desktop, you can go to the folder where you downloaded Eclipse and then double click it here. If you still can't find it, then you can go to search it and type Eclipse in your search bar and you should find it here too. So now we're going to go to Eclipse and we started this program last time, Hello World, but all we did was write this line and Eclipse provided that for us. So notice that it says public class Hello World and this Hello World is spelled the exact same as the file name. And if we have this with the wrong capitalization or spelling, our program is not going to work. So we have to have this the exact same. Notice that it has this red underline, just like if you were writing on a document and you spelled something wrong, Eclipse will underline it in red and tell you that it's not right. Now we're right and we can start writing. So I'm gonna write a line and you guys are just gonna copy it exactly. So I'm going to do public static void v o i d and then main then we're going to do a parentheses and then string with a capital s two square brackets and then args a r g s so this is what is called the main method we're not going to go into exactly what the main method is but just know that all of your code is going to be inside of here and you have to write this line exactly how it is here or else your program is not going to work. So now you're going to do a curly bracket, press enter and another one should appear here. So you see how there's an opening curly bracket here and then there's a closing one here. All of our code has to be inside of these two curly brackets or else it's not inside the main method. So if we write our code over here, our code is going to be inside of the class, as you can see here with this curly bracket, but it's not going to be inside of the main method, which is where we want to write it. So we're not going to write it there. We're going to go inside of these curly brackets here, and then we're going to start writing. So now I'm going to write another line, and you guys ha just have to copy this one exactly the same again. So we're going to do another capital S for system dot out dot print l n and then we're going to have parentheses again we're going to have quotes which you can find by holding shift and then the apostrophe on your keyboard and then we're going to type hello world just like the title of our program so notice that there's like a little underline here red underline that's our that's eclipse telling us that we're wrong and that this won't work if we try to run it so we have to have this semicolon at the end and then everything will be right and the red underline will go away so this is all the code we're going to need for our first program and now we're going to run it so there are two ways to run our program so the first way is by pressing this green play button and it says run hello world. The second way is by right clicking, going to run as here, the same green play button and then Java application. Now we're gonna have our hello world pop up in what's called the console window. So this console here is just where the results of our program are going to show up. And here, what we wanted is we wanted to print hello world. And then that's what our program did. It printed hello world here. 
So congratulations. If you have hello world showing up here, that means that your first program is successful. And now we're going to go back to our slides and we're going to go into a little more in depth with our printing for our future projects. So print statements, that's what we just did in Hello World. We printed out Hello World to our screen. And now we are going to look at how we had these quotes. Notice that there is one left quote, one right quote, and all of our text is inside of it. So if we look over here, these print statements will not work. This one doesn't have any quotes at all. This one only has a left one and this one only has a right one. And we're going to take a look at these inside of Eclipse. And I have another file here called printing examples where we can show this off. So here we have examples of incorrect printing. This is the one without any quotes, only left quote and only right quote. Notice how Eclipse is telling us, hey, this line is wrong. If you try to run it, it's not going to work. So it has this red underline here, and that means we have to fix it. So for now, I'm going to delete this wrong code because we have the correct one and what it should look like up here. One quote on the left, one on the right. And notice that I have these extra words in a different color. That's just what are called comments. So comments are just what the programmer can use to remind its remind him or herself what the code does. And it tells other people reading your code exactly what it does. So before I had those examples of incorrect printing, and over here I have examples of incorrect printing telling you what they do. So we're gonna have to have comments for every project that we do in the future, but don't worry about exactly when to do comments or what you exactly you should write. We're gonna get into that later. So let's go back to our slides and we're gonna keep talking about printing. And now we're gonna talk about print LN and just print. So over here, we have print LN, which is what we were using before, but I wanna tell you guys that it will print every word that's inside of these parentheses, but it's also gonna print another extra line after what you have inside of these parentheses. So you can think of print LN, LN as line, and it's just another line after what you write. Another note is that system.print.ln without any words inside of it will mean that it's just gonna print a blank line with nothing in it. Just like if you were hitting enter on your keyboard when you're typing in like a document. But we're gonna see that system.out.print no ln means that there's not gonna be an extra line. So no ln means no extra line. So let's take a look at this inside of Eclipse. So over here, I have the print versus print LN you can see from my comment. And you can see that it says, hello world, print with no LN, and then hello again with the LN. So let's see exactly what these two lines do when we try to run our program. And remember that how we run our program, we're gonna click this green run button or we can right click run as Java application. So first we just printed just exactly what we had in our original hello world. But over here, we can see that we did not have an LN over here. So there's no extra line over here. It's like if you didn't press enter in a document, it's all connected on the same line here. So now, when we do hello again, it does have the LN, so it's gonna have an, a line after it here. And if we print something else, it's gonna show up on the next line. So remember the difference between print and print LN, print, no extra line, print LN, there is an extra line after. So we're going to go back to our slides and we're gonna go over one more new thing. So we can also combine words inside of a print statement with a plus sign. Just like if you're doing a plus sign in math, it means you're gonna put those two things together. So inside of a print statement, inside of these parentheses, it's gonna put hello and world together. But notice that I have quotes surrounding each word. 
and no quotes around the plus sign. So let's take a look at this inside of Eclipse. So we're done with these. And over here, my comment says combining words inside of a string. So we see that here, this plus sign, there's no quotes around it. But for every word that the plus sign is adding, we need quotes around both of them. So hello world, each with quotes. And if I want to put more words like hello world, this is my program. these extra words are going to stay in the same quotes. So the quotes are just telling the computer that, hey, this is these are the words that I want to print. I don't want to print this plus sign. I just wanted to add the words for me. So there's no quotes around here. So now I'm going to run this. And it's going to come to our console window. And see here, it added the hello world, the hello and the world, this is my program, to make hello world, this is my program. So that's the end of the new stuff we're learning today. But now we're going to have a few questions for summary time. These questions I'm not going to answer today. I'm going to answer them in the next video that we have. So for now, you can just think about it. And then when you watch the next video, you can see if you're correct. So question one is how do we write the main method? And I want the exact line of code with all the correct spelling and the a capitalization, all the correct symbols, because if you don't do it exactly, it's the computer's not going to work. It's not going to, Eclipse is not going to let you run it. And now question two, how would you print the words to your console? Hello, how are you? So think about the, the new print method we did. What would it look like? What would the exact line of code look like for you to print this to your console? And the third question is, what is the difference between print and print LN? So if you don't remember the answer to any of these questions, you should feel free to go back, watch it again. All of the answers are in the video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to go over these answers and then learn more about Java. Bye.